I'm going to be talking about uh, a piece that I wrote called In Contact. The piece was written in 2006, and although Third Coast Percussion uh, has been playing it now for uh, three or four years, it was originally written for another percussion group called the Spin Drift Percussion Quartet uh, that was formerly based out of New Jersey. And when they asked me to write this piece, um, they were addressing the same problem that every percussion quartet in the world has, uh, which is that they were really excited about playing concerts, um, but they were trying to put concerts together, and in order to have a full concert of music, they needed so many instruments that there was no way they could fit them all in the vehicles that they owned, and so it was a real problem. So they asked me to write a piece, and uh, they asked me to write it for as few instruments as possible. And um, I took it as a really interesting challenge as a composer because, um, of course, one of the amazing things about being a percussionist is that literally anything in the world is, is a percussion instrument. If you strike it, if you scrape it, if you rub it, if you shake it, um, it becomes a percussion instrument. And that's sort of one of the things that's amazing about being a percussionist. But the other thing that's amazing about being a percussionist is that if you, instead of taking all the objects in the world, you take one single object and you try and get as many sounds out of that one object as possible, that's just as fascinating uh, to me. The first movement of In Contact, each of the performers plays on one tom-tom each. So I've got my tom-tom and I play with normal sticks, I play with hard felt mallets, I play at the edge of the, of the drum head, I play in the center of the drum, I play on the shell, I play buzz rolls, I play single stroke rolls, um, I play all sorts of ornamentations, all different dynamics. Basically, as, as, as the composer of this piece, I was trying to coax as much music out of, out of a limited instrumentation as possible. beginning of the second movement, all of the performers now have only two pieces of metal each. So we have the ringing piece of metal and the more uh, dry, junk sound metal. Um, and again, we're, we're sort of playing with different beaters and, and I was trying to, to just um, create a completely different atmosphere from the first movement, um, but to still be just exploring these individual instruments and see how much music to get out of it. I love playing drums, and I think the whole group, we just love playing drums. <laughs> and we, uh, we love uh, uh, music that's more conceptual as well, um, but sometimes it's just great to, to play the drums. And, um, and the third movement is really uh, about that, and it's exciting for an audience. And I think um, one of the things that we really enjoy uh, about playing concerts is, is that um, there are um, pieces that we play that I think are profound um, and then there are pieces that we play that are exciting and there are pieces that we play that are beautiful and there are pieces that we play that are terrifying and ugly. 
Um, but that contrast is, is important to us as an ensemble. We like to be able to do all these different things. And in Contact, particularly the last movement, um, it's exciting. Um, audience members uh, tend to really get into it. And there's, there's just something exciting about seeing a bunch of, uh, a bunch of drummers playing the drums. <laughs>